Miles Sanders is in the news. And, and, I, and this one jumped out at me because we talked about this when he initially signed with the Carolina Panthers. And I think we had differing opinions on Miles Sanders bringing it as a receiver out of the backfield because, remember, in his rookie year, I think he had somewhere close to 50 receptions. And the report, uh, this is from David Newton, a beat reporter out of Carolina, is the goal is to get Miles Sanders back to where he was as a rookie when he caught 50 passes. And the Panthers, and, and this is going forward in the article, saying that he's going to be the safety blanket for Bryce Young. This makes me, and I was already in on Miles Sanders in this move in fantasy, but I'm going to buy, you know, like we, I like to either buy or sell a news report from a fantasy perspective. I'm really buying this one. Yeah, I don't think it takes a whole lot of imagination when you have Terrace Marshall, Shark, Thielen as your, <laughs> as your receiving core. Uh, of course, he's going to be your safety blanket. And Hurst, phenomenal pickup mm. for the Panthers, who have struggled to ha- place a competent tight end. Coming back on the Parthon, four straight yeah. years. Our our guy Hayden Hurst, uh, he's going to crush it. But in the meantime, yeah, Miles Sanders, if he can get back to having those opportunities, as you said, I mean, he was crushing it in his rookie season in Philly, and then had a, you know, whether it's the drops or the scheme, it kind of just got phased out of the. Uh, passing attack, and it's a run-centric offense anyways in Philly. So um, going into Reich's scheme in Carolina, completely new uh, system for Miles to get acclimated to. They're going to build around his strengths, of course. You have a young quarterback. Obviously, we know Bryce Young is going to be the starter over Andy Dalton, in my opinion. I don't buy any of that bull crap that we're reading right now. But, yeah, you want the versatile back that you have and pay a lot of money for to be able to catch targets in 2023. So not surprising to hear this report at all, Anthony. Uh, Miles Sanders, yeah, he crushed in, in certain games last year. In other games, he was kind of phased out, but yeah. it was because of the way Philly operates their offense. It was Jalen Hurts. It was Kenny Gainwell. It was Boston Tea Party Scott. It was everyone but Miles Sanders at certain points. So, And he was super efficient with the touches he got. I think he's going to get more volume. We've talked about this before on the previous episode and in PPR formats, if more volume means more targets, which this report is indicating wheels up, man. Like this is, we're talking top 10 here for sure. uh, Running backs and PPR formats at the end of the season. If he gets anywhere close to 60 targets. If we look at the absolute ceiling for Miles Sanders in receiving, That came in 2019 where he had the 50 receptions, 509 yards. If we look at his absolute ceiling as a rusher, it came last year where he had Mm -hmm. 259 attempts for 1,269 yards. His 259, the the most rushing attempts he's had previous to that was his rookie year. He had buck 79 rushing yards. His most rushing yards previous to that 1,269 was 2020. We're at 867. Yards per carry, 4.9. But again, he took a hell of a lot more carries than he ever did. I And 11 touchdowns, career high, a positive touchdown regression from zero the year before. You're going to go to this Reich offense, which you noted that produced big-time seasons from Jonathan Taylor as a rusher. We also know that they threw the football to the running backs, primarily Naheem Hines. So... We now have a running back who can do everything in this offense. I get to have Chuba Hubbard. I don't care about Chuba Hubbard. Miles Sanders <laughs> can do it all. And I think he is going to do it all in this offense. Right now he's going as a 67th player off the board in FFPC high stakes leagues. Um, I would take him at least 10 spots ahead. At least because Carolina's offensive line is very underrated. And what else do we know about Wright? His quarterbacks were not great. So I, I get he has a rookie, but he, you know, Reich knows how to produce offense with bad quarterback, or I don't want to say bad, but average quarterback play. If we go back to Phillip Rivers and Jacoby Brissett, I would call them average. And mm-hmm. then, you know, it was a f- terrible mess last year, but also like JT was hurt. Right. But yeah, I like Miles Sanders a lot this year. Yeah, this offense definitely 
it can either go really well or it's going to go poorly. But luckily for the Panthers, All right. they're playing in a he had very Andrew weak Luck for NFC one year. South. Rock Sox. <laughs> right? Like one year. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Andrew one. Luck, uh, you know, the Colts are still feeling the impact of that today. So, uh, yeah, I'm interested to see what Reich does, you know. Um, I think getting Bryce Young in there helps immensely. And as you said, the offensive line does not get talked about nearly enough. Um Eki Aquanu, of course, uh, at left tackle from last year, their top pick. A uh, trade for Austin Corbett at right guard. And then, uh, yeah, I think um, I think the Carolina Panthers are in a position to make some noise. It's them and the Falcons in this division for me, Anthony. I don't. The Saints are getting gassed up with Derek Carr. Don't buy it. We know the Bucs are going to stink. It's going to be an arms race between the Panthers and the Falcons. And those two teams always play awesome games. So I'm excited for for how this offense will look in 2023.